Okay guys, so we are here in front of a property that I just helped uh, one of my clients get in uh, agreement with. Um, this property did not have an inspection, so what we're doing is we've ordered a professional inspector to come over here, take a look at it, and give us a more in-depth analysis on the physical condition of this property. But uh, it's very important for us to get the details of the inspection. What we're predominantly looking for is the structural integrity, the foundation, the health of that. Um, not so much the smaller things like if a doorknob is broken or something like that, but uh, let's have a look. Um, anyways, just real quick behind me, look at this. This is like so beautiful, like right in front of a, a very large park right there. This is like a very desirable, especially if you have children. Even if you don't, um, the fact that this park is uh, right in front increases the value of the property and the desirability. Anyways, let's go in and let's take a look. Hey guys, I'm here with Mr. Jeff from inspect.net and what he's doing is something very important. He's looking at the sub panel right here and making sure there's no uh, double tapping, is that correct? Yeah, double tapping is when two wires are connected to one breaker and there's none of that going up and down the bus. And then you also want to make sure that the larger the wire, the more current it can carry. If you don't have a small wire with a, a big breaker that can let too much current go through, you can get overheating. So looking up and down this whole bus for no double lugging also is that there's no oversized breakers and circuits. And this all looks good. As you can see, all the wiring here too is mostly copper. There's a little bit of aluminum, but that's just one circuit for a larger branch circuit, and that's going to be okay. So this panel is older, but it's still doing okay. Got it. Yeah, so Jeff has 30 years of uh, experience, and it's important to have someone with a lot of experience because, you know, this is a... Uh, your investment, your uh, you know, your your purchase. So yeah, you don't buy that experience. You got to earn that. So is yeah. there something that says I usually tell people if you're looking for a home inspector, get um, someone with ten years experience minimum. Got Just it. get started. That way they've seen a lot. They have things to compare against when they see something in the house you're buying, is they know what they're looking at. Got it. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Hey guys, so we're here uh, with Jeff as well, uh, Inspect.net, and what we're going to be doing is going down into the crawl space. So he's going to be looking at uh, some of the foundation walls as well as any moisture content within the um, uh, within the dirt. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look at the structure, the foundation walls, all the interior piers, posts, beams, look at the floor framing, then look at the drain plumbing, the supply plumbing, all the wiring that's under here, and then most importantly is to make sure that the subway is dry because wet soil allows houses to settle. So what you're looking to do is make sure that you keep water from getting underneath your home. So I'm gonna go dig in right now. All right. Good luck. Thanks so much. Okay, guys, we're we're done here. Mr. Jeff has uh, conducted his analysis for this uh, this crawl space here. Yeah. So w looks like we have some efflorescence here, Jeff. Right? Yeah. Let me show you a few things here. First of all, the efflorescence, this white powder on the foundation stem, well, is an indication that water from outside is intruding in. It soaks into the concrete, then it evaporates. So what you'd want to do here. If you were to lick and taste it, it'd be like kind of salt, but is enhance the drainage outside to make sure the dirt is flowing away from the house. And at the bottom of downspouts, you put a drain pipe on to kind of move the water away from the home. And coming in here to the interior supports, you can see the concrete piers got a big footing in them. They're poured in and they're tight. And the post is really tight. The girder's really good. So this house is built here on the solid dirt and it's completely dirt dry. So. Really good with moisture overall, just a little bit damper on the perimeter. This house is set up to run for a long time. Um, and then we have uh, yeah. this over here, right? I did want to point that out to you is that these are heating supply air ducts. It's tight down here, so at some point, someone probably need to get over there and just kind of drop that duct down and never kind of take the time to lift it back up. But that duct should not be resting on the ground. Also, the insulation is damaged, and that's carrying the heat from the heater that's back over in the central part of the house over to this register at the rear bedroom. It'll still flow air, but it's, it's just that it's in contact with the ground. Eventually, it'll kind of start to rust out. So, um, overall, okay, cool. pretty solid, nice and dry. Remember, home inspector comes out dirty, that's good. If it comes out muddy, that's really bad. So, make sure your stuff air stays dry. That's really important. All right. Thank you, Jeff, from yeah, inspect.net. Yep. That's